My name is David Behrend at Andriani USA. Today we are going to show you some of the features of our Andriani Rally Cartridge Kit. This is the kit for that for adventure bikes. It's specific from the Misano Evo kit, which is a street bike orientated cartridge kit. This one is meant for more uh, adventure bikes and doing some off-road riding. When you get one of these Rally Cartridge Kits for your adventure bike, you'll get two boxes. One box has the cartridge in it with the preload spacers, the caps, the O-rings, and the sleeve which has the O-rings, the specification cards, the installation manual, and an Andriani owner's manual for this bike. They made this Rally Cartridge Kit specific for adventure bikes. They have different characteristics than a street bike, where we suggest a Misano Evo kit. These ones are made specifically for the riders that have adventure bikes, like to ride off-road, and maybe push the limits of just a gravel road for their street bike. Um, some of the features that separate it are longer stroke, obviously, a really nice hydraulic cup system for bottoming control. Um, the spring rates are better suited for adventure bikes. Um, the compression side has a dual valve system, two compression pistons with shim stacks on it in order to offer a nice plush ride. When you get one of these and you want to install it, you're going to need a few hand tools and some oil and a few other things. So for a rally uh, cartridge kit, we recommend using Olin's 1330. That's the code for like the part number for it. We keep it in stock. It's suited for this, tested, and we found that that's the best oil for this cartridge. A couple of things for tools. You will need two wrenches, a 19 millimeter and a 14 millimeter. You will need a four millimeter spanner adjustable wrench, a pull tool, a three millimeter Allen. You will need an oil level tool. We have this really nice Andriani one. Uh, torque wrench, this will go for not only the base bolt, but also for the cap. Um, some forks may need a few other tools, but specifically for this fork, this pretty much covers the range of all the tools. When they designed it, they wanted to make it simple to install, simple to service, and um, that's another uh, one of the nice features for it. Well, let's go through and uh, set the oil level on it, uh, install the spring and show you what it's all about. By the way, if there's ever a question on what the oil level is, it comes on this sleeve. It comes in the spec card, which is in the sleeve and on the end of the box. All of our Andriani cartridge kits will include it in those places. So let's do the install. Where's the spring? Is it this one? Or did you have the spring over there? Sorry about that. No. Well? Sorry. <laughs> I should have caught that earlier. <laughs> so here we are. We've got a, this happens to be a Honda Trail Sub, Transalp 750 fork. We've serviced it. We've installed our SKF dual compound seals. Normally in these forks, uh, they have a lot of stiction and literally you have to push the fork tube down on the inner tube in order to get the fork down. So that stiction um, will create um, a fork that's not operating 100% that it could be. With these SKF seals, um, they turn a, a high friction fork into a smooth operating fork. So you might want to consider those when you're uh, servicing your fork new seals and wipers and bushings. One of the features about this rally kit is we set the oil level after we have actually installed the spring. It's important to note that these bigger forks, um, we have to get the, the spring in. If we put the oil level where it should be and then put the spring in, the oil level will be too high and you'll be, your fork will be harsh operating. It won't be as smooth as it should be. So what we're going to do is install that and uh, go from there. 
Another important uh, thing, a couple of other important things about the caps. You'll get the O-rings for each cap in a little baggie. Um, all you have to do is just slide it on the cap. Um, there's something called phase four, it's in the instructions. And what that means is the range of adjustment on any of our caps. We do like to have four full turns, and typically we start out right in the middle at two turns. Four turns of an adjustment makes a, a, a fork that is easy to adjust throughout the range and will cover pretty much all characteristics of the type of riding you're doing. So, it's really simple. You put your Allen key in, you counterclockwise all the way till it stops. Don't force it. So you saw, that's it. One, two, three, four. This cap is set and ready to go. It will offer four turns of adjustment. You want to do that on both the compression cap and the rebound cap. The rally kits use Olin's 1330. That's a specific oil that we've tested. It has the highest performance and durability ratings for our kits. So now we're gonna install the spring and the oil, set the oil level, install the preload spacer and the cap on this rally kit. Again, what separates it from most other cartridges is you need to set the oil level after you install the spring. So first, we slide the fork spring in, then we're gonna pour the uh, Olin's 1330 fork oil in. You can hear it uh, cycling through and the bubbles coming up and so on, it's bleeding itself practically. Cycle the outside down. Use the palm of your hand to pull up and push down. This will force the oil up into the cartridge, into the piston, into the shim stack. It'll help bleed it quickly. We take our pull rod. I just wanna bleed it up and down. This one works perfectly, it's nice and smooth operating properly. This is one of our Andriani oil level setting tool. You just set the oil level here. It's got a little um, marker on it that you set it. You put it down, push it down, it's all done. Just make sure that this nut is threaded all the way down till it stops, no forcing needed. This is the preload spacer. There's two sides. One side that's wide and fat um, and it engages the spring. The other side has got a little groove on it. That's what engages the cap. They're all the same. You drop it down, nice and smooth. Take your 19 millimeter wrench. Boom, nice and easy. Don't forget to give this little adjustment ride a couple of pushes. Um, this one's perfect. There's a needle and a little spring that helps return the needle to the original position. Um, if it's not there, you won't see this rod sitting up at the right height and you also won't feel it returning to the original position. I've already set the cap. That means setting the adjustment range on it. Simple thread it on. There, stops. This torque wrench is preset to 20 Newton meter. All of these parts are made out of aluminum, so they don't really need any 
hard torquing or aggressive um, installation or anything. So just keep that in consideration. Pull that out. Take your four millimeter adjustable spanner wrench and put it in the two holes there. That's it. On the spec card that comes in the sleeve, which comes in the box, you will have where we want to set the compression and the rebound. In this case, it says two turns out on both compression and rebound. That's a baseline setting. We recommend starting there and adjusting beyond that for your personal comfort level. So now it should be at zero. That means zero turns out. So one, two, and that's where we start with it. Now, preload is always set up specifically for your weight, the type of bike. On the sleeve, it always will say four turns in. So that means um, let's get to the zero point. That's all the way up. One, two, three, four. This Andriani USA Rally cartridge kit is currently installed. And give it a little push. You feel damping, no noises or anything. At that point, it's ready to go onto the motorcycle. Uh, please check, please check everything you have on the bike to make sure it's correct. Um, if you like this video, just hit like and subscribe. Um, if you have any ideas for future videos, maybe some questions you might have, please send it in. Um, thank you very much and ciao. Take care.